Hello there, and welcome back to possibly the final episode of Lies of P. We have done most of the things that we set out to do. I think we only failed the riddles, I think, was the only thing that we failed. Um, most of the rest of the stuff, I think, we did kind of okay. Um, oh, the robot in the cave as well, that you're supposed to uh, teach emotions. I don't think we've done all of those, rather annoyingly. I think we missed one with the top hat guy, because I think we picked the wrong option um, with his dialogue. But otherwise, we're on track for a, a decent ending, I think. I don't know what the options are here for us. Um, as always, we are going to be a little bitch. We're going to be a little bitch, baby. And we're going to summon. But you know what? I'm proud to be a little bitch baby. <laughs> right. Oh. What? <coughs> what? Did he mess himself up? He did. He truly did. I'm not looking forward to this, by the way. I have had a few people say this boss is absolutely savage. So, we're going into this with a sort of a, a calm demeanor. Oh, God, he doesn't have an arm. This is Ergo. Is it not magnificent? Jesus. Distilled. Immortality and a key that opens a world with no lies. A key that unlocks true evolution. <sighs> Give thanks. There goes a gift from me, Simon Monis. Who will transgress even God? Bow down oh, to your no. God, who will be born now! Oh, no. And this is only going to be phase one. Show me everything you have. Open up your mango. What's he got? Oh, that hit me. What is this? Oh, that just hits me. Holy crap. I'm stuck on my summon. Which I guess is what I get for using a summon. Whoa. I mean, that was very cool. We actually managed to block that somehow. Okay, we got it. Right. Okay, phase two. Wow, it's like a baby coming out of his thigh. Such a gross design. This is evolution. I don't anticipate a uh, first time clear on this. Whatever this is. Oh. 
That was a weird cut. As I grasp the power of a true god. Okay. I'm witnessing you. You're very scary. Oh, what? Wait, he's birthing a new body. So cool. It's like horrific, but so cool. Oh. Wait, we're just continuing like this? Alright. I'm guessing a phase three then. I don't really know what's happening. I'm sorry. Are we... What the hell? I did actually, like, hit him with that. No, no. No, no, no. Oh, I got stuck. Uh, please, heal. Oh, my God. Wait. What is happening? Oh god, I'm really bad at that. I'm really bad at that. Discharge. Oh. No, that's fine. Yeah, let's heal. Ow. <laughs> Maybe it was the right call. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay, that's fine. No, 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 no! What are you doing? Okay. Wait, did we do it? Was that first try? I mean, I know we used to summon for the first phase, but... Nah, there's no way. There's got to be a phase three. It's like a fake-out trophy, right?
tell it comes to this. The Blue Fairy, Sophia, decides the winner. Truly, I envy you. The puppet my Sophia keeps turning back time to save. Is it her sense of duty? Or her contempt for me? Or does she truly care for you? up predicting Sophia's actions long ago, but I'd like to hear your thoughts. Sophia, what have you done to her? Sophia, I'm telling the truth. couple of things there. Let's have a quick look. So, um, so the King of Puppets message we've got. Um, the arm of God obtained after defeating Simon Marnus. It's a mysterious relic that the alchemist treated as a sacred object. Whoa. That was terrifying. Um, the alchemist believed that there was once a god who was ripped to shreds trying to give immortal life to the humans he so loved, and they wanted to revive him. However, the god who was deep in sleep never answered their prayers. Damn. Okay. Let's go down. I mean, I have one heal left. You know what, let's... Now him! He really scared me. A human becoming a god? Terrifying. But a puppet becoming a human? Now you have my attention. Hmm. Suit yourself. That sounds fun to me. I wonder... What'll happen now? Yeah, what will happen now? Know. But I do know one thing. You're stuck with me. And I'm stuck with you, pal. Wouldn't have it any other way. Hmm. That's fair. Oh, cough. Where are we going? It's slowing down, though. Of the abyss. Well, we're gonna level up, obviously. Uh, should we just like get some more damage? <laughs> Sounds a little bit dumb, but as a matter of fact, actually, hang on, we've got in our inventory some ones that we don't need. There you go. That's enough for another one. Seriously, the more we can get, the better. So what do we need? We need 15,000. So if we can get, like, another 7,500, then we can do another level up. Wait, three. Yeah, we can do it. 3,000. 
Uh, we'll just... We're going to be a bit over. No, wait. What? No, we're not. There we go. I think I went way too far there, but it's all good. Um, I mean, do we do stamina, maybe? Look, stamina has actually kind of been kicking us in the dick recently. <clears throat> yeah, let's do that. We'll get stamina to maybe 20 or something as our sort of like... Well, you guys won't see it, actually, because I'll be doing playthrough 2 off camera. But um, I'm assuming that this is going to end in a fight as well, because I'm not siding with him if he gives me the option. You're looking at my butt. Frickin' nothing. I knew you could do it. You sound evil. We have all awesome. the ingredients we need. I dreamed of this day for so long. The moment you'd come back to life. You can be human again. By using that vast supply of ergo and the arm of God. I just need the final ingredient. The one that holds your memories and your lifespan. Your heart. Nope. If you give me your heart, all these trials and tribulations will be over. Not doing it. You have been a brilliant and a good boy. As your reward, I shall turn you into a real boy. Give me your heart, son. You sound so evil. Give me your heart. No. I believed you were a good boy. But you insist on breaking my heart. Well, I suppose Carlo was mischievous. It seems you inherited his personality instead of his memories but a father always looks after his children even naughty ones that must be punished like you in my own way i grew to love you after all you're the puppet who would bring my son back to life mm. There we go. I'm disappointed in you. I didn't mean for this to happen. I believed you were a good boy. If you refuse, then I'll have to retrieve it myself. Huh. Strings. He is indeed the Puppet Master. Whoa. Okay. My son. Oh, no. What, like the real body? Oh. Bad. Bad times. Oh no, buddy. You can become a real human. Listen to me, my son. Okay. I never came to the Grand Covenant like the other puppets because of cool. Oh, okay, it's so double. Oh my god, I'm really bad at this. Jesus. I know you have gone astray. Trouble some puppet. Damn it. Okay, this is definitely not a first time. Your freedom is not for you. Damn it. Yeah, I'm doing bad. Nice. If 
find those memories. I'll make you into a real myself. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that was just phase one. Uh, we can do this. I think it's just going to take a few tries. Oh, that was grim. What the hell? Okay, this this is actually gonna suck, I think. This could even be a two-parter. Oh man, am I even gonna have time? I've got like an hour. How dare you? Like in terms You're of the time I fight. have. Nothing more. What the hell? Okay, red flash means he's coming at me. I'm sorry. Which, uh, which Dark Souls NPC are you? Frigging, um, mixed Dark Souls boss, should I say? Frigging, um, God, what's her name? Oh no, it's even, um, Bloodborne, uh, frigging... Ah, uh, what's, what's her name? The... The frigging guardian of the clock tower. I can't remember what her name is, but um, that's what she is. You can become a real human. Come to me, my son. Oh, okay. Hang on. Okay. I never found a covenant like the other puppets. Oh my god, the double swing. Is he like uh I know you Is he immortal? What's happening right now? Uh, this is gonna suck. How dare you? You're just a puppet. Nothing more. Whoa. Okay. Not what I was after. Okay. No, no, we can do this. We can do this. Do we go for... Wait, what are our options here? What have we actually... So. We have electric blitz is one option. We don't have many of them. Oh, Jesus. We really don't. Oh, we do have a bunch of these, though. Hmm. Let's put those in, and let's do... Um, 
fire? We'll put a fire thing on. That's a thing we can do. Alright, let's do it. You can become a real human. Come to me. Whoa. Okay. Never the grand puppets like the other puppets. The I know you have done a struggle some other pup. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay. I don't know if I need to heal or not. How dare you? You're just a I'm gonna act like I do. Nothing more. Um, hello? No, this was a bad move. Okay. Jesus. Oh my God. I can't. I'm, I, 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 I literally. Okay, so phase one was flawless, phase two I absolutely died. Um, oh man, this is hard. I'm going to actually have to learn this. <laughs> I don't get like a free pass on this one. Um, oh god, I used all my items as well, although to be fair I didn't really do a good job of it. So what? Should we put... Oh no, don't use. Um... So we're not going to use them in this fight, but I'm just going to put them on standby. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do this. You can become a real human. Come to me, my son. Nice. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Nice. Oh 
more please, one more hit. There we go. <laughs> okay. Whew. Phase one, not the worst. How do you, uh, anything there? Oh, okay. I think I got him stuck for a second though. Oh my god, did we do it? I think we did it. My weapon was broken and everything. Holy crap. This boss is horrific. <gasps> what? Are we dead? Oh no. What? What saved us? Oh. Uh, Did Geppetto zoom out for a second and was like, oh. Oh! Of course! Oh! Power punch. I don't know, man. Like, are we really crying over this guy? Oh, I guess we have the memory of Carlo. Maybe he's like, what have you become kind of thing. I'm sorry. sorry. You should be, man. You really messed up. You messed up bad. Did a bad job. You're a bad dad. I guess, like, the lengths people go to, desperation, to have their loved ones. His was a little bit extreme, though. <laughs> I think at the point that you're, like, strapping robot legs to your son's 
corpse is probably the point you've gone too far. <laughs> so if you're at that point, I, I advise you, turn yourselves into the police immediately. <laughs> to the puppet, right? That's amazing. That's such a nice ending. It's so good to see you. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, they pulled it back. They did a really friggin' good job. There were a couple of moments in there. Oh, okay. Um, I don't want. I don't want the. Um, I have a final report oh. on the Hello? Crod experiment. You certainly took your time, Paracelsus. Your findings? I think we have a new brother. A new type of humanity, so to speak. Oh. oh. It's intriguing, and worth further observation. Noted. And... Um, we'll have to get his arm back anyway. I'm counting on it. Expect another report at the next meeting. Paracelsus returning. Ah, and when I return, I will find her. For sure. Another key of ours. Dorothy. Huh. Hello? What? Okay, yeah, that has to be a sequel. I, so I had heard that there was something at the end that set up something. Uh, oh, okay, right. If you start the next playthrough, you won't be able to continue the current playthrough. Uh, all items below will not be inherited, so collectibles except for records, crut supply boxes, and Vanini. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna do it just yet. We're gonna stay in the current new game cycle, um, whilst I just do like a mini wrap up of what I thought of the game. I don't know whether there'll be any more dialogue or anything like that. Whether there's like anything to like check out here. Um. Attacked Hotel Krat. Um, let's see what the boss weapons were, because we obviously have uh, Boss Ergo here. I wait a minute. Oh, oh, did I scare you? No way. It's me, Hugo. This what a fantastic ending! <laughs> I'm going to try to be the Aladoro of a new generation. Hell yeah! I will also keep looking for the relic's true owner. Check in with me anytime. Brilliant. Absolutely a brilliant. Weapon calls for a great. Oh, no. <laughs> sorry, no pronouncements aren't my thing. As always, prove that you're worthy. Oh, nice. He's like a proper, like a nice guy. So we have the fallen ones, Ergo, which gives you noblesse oblige. <laughs> That's cool. Um, or increased fable art damage inflicted on a staggered enemy. And we have the Nameless Puppets Ergo, which is the Proof of Humanity weapon. Or Immunity to all Attribute Status Ailments. Damn, that's pretty decent too. Uh, but we are obviously going to go Weapon and Weapon. Uh, special Weapon Collector. Nice, see? Worth it. Um, and then, yeah, next playthrough we'll do all the amulets. Um, obviously off camera, but... Um, okay, great. Um, well, hang on. We, we need to wrap up the dialogue with everyone then, don't we? Like, do you have anything else to say? I've made up my mind. I am going to keep living. To nice. honor Atkinson's sacrifice. Yeah. Someone needs to tell everyone out there what happened in Croc. I'm going to look for a way out again. Thanks for Excellent. all your help. I hope Croc finds fortune soon. Nice. I've made up my mind. Someone. Thanks for all your 
You have been you... such a great help to Master Vanini. I will do my best to be of assistance in return. Uh, nothing new. Oh, actually. You have been... Anything new? Doesn't look like it. This great disaster, the Krat crisis, has left no one unaffected. But it's over now. Thanks to you. We are all in pain. We're all hurting. But now it's time to begin healing. I will do everything I can to help. Together, compagno, I think we really can make Krat, if not the entire world, a better place. Nice. You're always welcome here, friend. Excellent. Best girl? So much has happened. It's bewildering. But it feels like there is hope. Even here in godforsaken Krat. It's all because of you. So thank you. Though I suspect you haven't told me everything. <laughs> Can't prove I anything. I just want safety for every... That's why I should make oh. sure you're well armed. If you need it. Okay, nice. Cool. Uh, and then Paladino. Pal Paladina. Welcome to Hotel. Oh. He's a. Uh... He's not our dude anymore. Um, alchemist. Let's let's check in with the alchemist. Um, and I promise we will. Oh, can we finally? <gasps> yeah. Now that's what we're talking about. Good kitty. Oh, amazing. Amazing. On to the alchemist. I wonder how he's doing out here. I'm just going to very quickly uh, pick my fruit as well. And then, my boy. <coughs> the letter of the eternal. I had a good time. It's amazing to see a new brother being born. I hope to meet you again sometime on the eternal line of time. PP. PP. Tee. Ha! <laughs> so he was one of us. One of us. One of us. And then you can still do his services at the, at the briefcase. I was wondering for a second if that was him. But like, I was like, nah, I can't be. So I didn't say anything. But, uh, yeah. Huh. Nice. Okay, cool. So, yeah, um, I skipped the credits, um, mainly because I wouldn't have been able to hear myself think over the sound of the music on them. Um, and the people that made this game deserve, like, so much praise for it. Like, genuinely, I know I had a big moment where I was sort of wobbling a bit. Um, on whether I was enjoying myself. And I do think that there were some moments in the game that perhaps could have been a little better balanced. Um, a couple of boss fights that felt a little bit, like, weighted against the player to the extent that it's kind of, like, not challenging, but just BS. Um, and kind of revolved a little bit around either being, like, perfect in every sense or just getting lucky which is what I ended up doing um but all in all this game was wonderful I think um where to start I mean it's beautiful I think like all of the different locations in the game are really really pretty I love the city of Krat I think it's really cool sort of like a Victorian inspired like I guess is it meant to be set in Italy is it I guess it's like an Italian names right um, sort of like a, a Victorian era Italy, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, really cool aesthetic. Um, I love the aesthetic of the enemies, both the zombies and the puppets. I thought it was a really good balance between the two. Um, I would have liked to have seen a teensy bit more enemy variety in the bog standard enemies. 
Um, and I think like the alchemists at the end maybe could have been masked instead of having their faces open because the open faces made it very clear that you were just fighting a reused asset over and over again. Um, but like the designs themselves were all great though, nonetheless. Like that's not taking away from any of that. Um, but yeah, yeah, no. Um, just general design, all really, really good. Enjoyed environmental design and enemy design. Very awesome. NPCs, all quite memorable, I think. I kind of, I remember most of them. I don't remember their names, but I can remember their stories quite vividly, which is always a good sign. Um, a particular highlight was the uh, the dog guy and the uh, archaeologist dude and the weaponsmith girl. Um, like, their story combined was, like, really, really cool. I really enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed the story with Romeo and, um, and uh, our boy here, whose name I have just forgotten, which is quite bad because they just said it. Um, it will come to me in a minute. Carlo. Um, yeah, their story was also really good, even if I am a little bit confused about some of the finer points. I will have to have a look at some, like, lore videos or something, I'm sure. Vati's probably put one up by now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'll have to check that out to sort of make sure that I'm getting the full story here. Um, I wasn't too clear on the whole, um, Fox story. Um, I understood that she's trying to get her brother's eyesight back and stuff like that, or her adoptive brother, if you will. Um, brother in arms. Um, but I wasn't too sure about her, like, family and stuff like that. Um, a little confused on that one. But, yeah, for the most part I got it. Um, oh, the frigging, the Master of Riddles, is it Ar Arlecchino? That was brilliant. The frigging storytelling on that was so amazing. The whole idea that a puppet has, like, gained emotion and stuff, like, from the ergo of the serial killer... Um, just like actually able to question humanity and things like that really creepy and really cool um, such a cool design on him as well being all like um, melded into the wall where he was stabbed into it um, it kind of reminded me of Ghost in the Shell a little bit like some of the artwork from that um, very very awesome um, what else what else what else um, favourite boss fight my favourite boss fight was the King of Puppets uh, slash Romeo that was brilliant just like the fact that um later on finding out the lore to that fight a little bit more as well was just oh so good so damn good it made the fight really tragic it made the fight feel really great um i will remember that fight uh for a long time after finishing this game i think um in the same way that you remember like sister freed from you know dark souls 3 and um uh, millennia from elden ring um, yeah, very reminiscent of those kinds of fights. Very, very cool. Um, but yeah, they knocked it out of the park. I think they managed to strike a balance between a sort of a Bloodborne and Sekiro and Souls kind of sort of hot pot kind of a mix together. Um, it didn't completely excel at any of those like targets of hitting any of those games but finding a medium between all of them is a very difficult thing to do and I think that they did a very admirable job with it the combat is fun the combat is exciting I think that there are multiple ways to play the game as well which is something that's very very like interesting because like some games force you into a certain play style for example Bloodborne it's like all about aggression you want to be like getting your health back when you take damage by being aggressive Whereas, like, with this, you can kind of do a bit of both, and dodging is viable, despite what some people on the internet are saying. Like, dodging is very viable. You don't have to master perfect parrying, because Lord knows I didn't. Um, and, yeah, I, I just think the variety in gameplay style is brilliant, even from, like, the prosthetic arm as well, adding all the different, like, like uses of those. I mean, I didn't divvy up too much, but I could see just from the limited amount of time I spent with each arm that they completely change the way you look at a fight sometimes. Um, and when you get into the later game and you've got it so that your arms recharge as well, it's like it's it's even more like versatile and brilliant and just a lot of fun to use. Um, great mechanic. Uh, the lying mechanic. Now, I really liked this mechanic. I don't think it was quite perfect, 
because sometimes it was kind of wasn't really clear whether I was lying or telling the truth. Um, Obviously, I think the intention is that you pay close attention to your environment as you're going through, as any Souls veteran should be doing. Um, but obviously, I missed a few details here and there, and as a result, I ended up picking the wrong option, even though I knew from the outset that I wanted to do a lie playthrough where I was lying all the time. Um, I would also say, like, the Master of Riddles as well. Um, the answers to his riddles were a little bit scuffed. Um... Like, obviously, that Ergo one was just, like, obviously correct for him, which does make sense now that you think about it, but the answer to the riddle is obviously a bruise. So, like, you know, I, I felt like I deserved the Trinity Key from that, but it obviously was like, nah. And then I was locked out of it completely, and I'm going to have to do it on a subsequent playthrough, which isn't ideal. Because um, I wanted to get as many things tied up as possible, basically. Um... What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, music. The music is phenomenal. The music is so damn good. Like I, I actually, I can't get over like this. This is brilliant. Whoever decided this was a thing, like, yes, just amazing. Feel is such a good song. Like, such a damn good song. And I would like, I, I don't know if it's on Spotify. I think I searched for it the other day and couldn't actually find it. There's a good cover of it. But I couldn't find the actual original sounds. Um, but yeah, the soundtrack is phenomenal. Like both in these records and also in the game itself. Um, like I mean, just the ambient music at the hotel is great. Like um, the main menu theme. Um, yeah, awesome. Um, I think this this game has. Considering I was not even thinking I was going to buy this game to begin with. It has surprised me how much this game has resonated with me in the end. Um, it was a bit of a bumpy ride, but like it absolutely has resonated with me. I think it's a really, really good game. It's got its flaws, but it, it's up there. I mean, like even in, amongst the hierarchy of the actual Souls games, I think I have put it quite highly. Um, like God, where would I put it? I mean, I I always said that Bloodborne was my favourite. Like. Um, and I think uh, that still holds true. Um, I preferred this to Sekiro, definitely. Sekiro is a brilliant game, by the way. I'm not putting Sekiro down at all. I just personally preferred this to Sekiro. Mm, did I prefer this to Dark Souls 3? I, mm, I don't think so. I think Dark Souls 3 still stands ahead as well. I think my current ranking pushes Elden Ring out of the top three for me. I think I would go Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, this, and then Elden Ring. Um, then I would maybe go Sekiro, then Dark Souls 1. I know, that's criminal. People don't like people slating Dark Souls 1. I'm not slating it. I think it's an amazing game, but like... Uh, I don't know, I, I just, I think, like, the way the mechanics of these games have evolved over the years really adds a lot, and obviously going back to Dark Souls 1 feels a little bit cumbersome. Um, but yeah, no, this this is phenomenal. I think to make it to potentially my number three spot amongst all Soulsborne games, like, and Souls-likes, um, is phenomenal. Like, it's an, an amazing achievement, this game. I think this is so good. Um, and I would advise everyone yeah i would advise everyone to give this a go because i actually think like this is the kind of game where leveling up a little bit can actually remove the difficulty from the equation so like if you're prepared to do a little bit of grinding here and there i would say even if you don't like the difficult nature of soulsborne games this one is actually still a good shout like the specter summons are very versatile they help you through a lot of the fights i use them in every single fight that i could and I don't feel cheap. I had a great time. Like, I genuinely... I, I had so much fun playing it. And obviously, that's the point. That is the point of the game. Um, so, yeah. Super, super satisfied here. We've got five minutes left. So, what are we going to do with the five minutes? I think we're going to have a quick look at the two weapons we just unlocked. Why not? Hopefully, it'll be a fun little send-off. <laughs> So this pig ogre club, and we've got... We'll do the ogre club first, because I don't like that one as much. I don't think. So, R1 attacks. Big swing. Big swing. Big swing. R2 attack. 
Okay, I think that's just a single. Hang on, we'll... Yeah, it is. We can hold it down. Boom! Okay, um... Triangle. Big bonk. Uh, like a parry. Okay, interesting. Oh, and it stays active. Does that do anything? I think it might up the power of the other one. Uh, sprinting attack. Big old bat. Sorry, my dodges are very weighted down at the moment. Cool. Uh, and then this one. Nice. It's a very cool sword, actually. I quite like this. Oh my god. Okay, you get the dual swords out. Okay, that's sick. That's absolutely sick. Okay, that, that is maybe my favourite weapon in the game. I'm going to be upgrading that off camera and using it in my second playthrough. You get, like, all the moves. You get, like, all of them. Wait, what? It's like a buff. That one... Wait, does that mean you get, like, a, a jewel attack with the... Yeah, you do. That weapon is absolutely sick. Congratulations on making one of the best boss weapons in a Soulsborne game. Freaking love that. So cool. It's kind of like the Bloodborne daggers, but um, in a big old sword. <laughs> God, we are so over-encumbered right now. <laughs> there we go. Probably okay now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I think that's a great way to end it, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, loved it. Loved the story. Loved the game. Highly recommend. Double thumbs up from me. I'm, I was going to do a separate review, but I think I'm just going to leave it with this. Uh, maybe I'll edit this and put it as a separate thing, as well as um, the actual episode. Uh, yeah, no, um, thank you so much for watching this series. I know it's not as popular as Tower of Fantasy or um, Honkai. But, um, yeah, no, this series has been a lot of fun to actually make. Um, it's the first time I've marathoned a game in a long while as well. I actually sat down for uh, nearly eight hours on one day. Eight frigging hours playing this game. Um, yeah, that was a fun way to spend a day off, Jesus. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Farewell. <laughs>